Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be talking about gas pedals and how they work. Now one of the things I'd like for all my viewers to be able to do is just pop the hood of their trunk, lift it up, look in their engine bay and be able to identify and explain how everything that they see works. And so in order to do this I'm going to have to go through a lot of different systems and uh, I'm going to be starting with the gas pedal. So one of the most important parts of your car, I guess without a gas pedal you're not going anywhere and you're certainly not controlling how fast you're getting there. So, the gas pedal system itself is rather simple. Uh, there's a lot of complex systems that get involved with it though, which I will get into later. For now though, the gas pedal. So this is what you're going to push your foot on here. Here's the gas pedal. And as you push that, you've got a pivot. And so you're going to push in and that pivot's going to pull on a wire, the throttle wire. And that throttle wire is connected to the throttle linkage, which in turn uh, manipulates a butterfly valve that is located inside of the throttle body. So what this butterfly valve does is, here's your air intake. Your air is going into your engine here. And you've got this butterfly valve. Now, this butterfly valve at idle is nearly closed, so not much air can come in through here. Now when you floor it, when you push this gas pedal down all the way, you're going to turn this so this throttle wire is going to pull here on this throttle linkage and rotate it uh, counterclockwise and as it does that this butterfly valve is going to open up so as that butterfly valve opens up more air is able to come in now a system of sensors are going to be able to identify that more air is coming into the engine and when they sense that there's more air coming into the engine they're going to inject more fuel into the engine so you want to keep an even ratio of air and fuel for gasoline engines it's about 14.7 parts air to one part of fuel. So there's various sensors that are involved in making, ensuring that the amount of air is correct and the amount of fuel is correct that goes into the, into the cylinders. So you've got a MAF sensor, mass airflow sensor, a MAP sensor, manifold absolute pressure sensor, a throttle position sensor, and an O2 sensor. And I will go through these in later videos but for now, I just wanted to get through this gas pedal and explain how it works. Um, I'm going to show you what this looks like on my car. And one thing that you should know is that not all cars use this system anymore because now there's better, greater technology available. So new cars will have a drive-by wire, which is what they call it, just because it's electronic, so wires are doing all the work. Um, and I will explain that in a future video as well. So let's take a look at my car. So here we have our throttle linkage for the gas pedal and you can see the throttle cable running along and then disappearing into the driver compartment. So I'll show simultaneously what's happening as you press on the gas pedal. So it's a little, it's a little difficult to see but that cable on the left is coming in from that throttle cable that we're looking at and it connects to this gas pedal. So as I press on the gas pedal, you can see that it pulls in on that cable and simultaneously we should be watching the throttle linkage open and close.